today we're going to be changing out the exhaust and intake camshaft actuator solenoids on a 2008 Chevy Malibu with a 2.4 liter Ecotec engine. The part numbers that you will need are 12655420. And one two six five five four two one. One of the first things that we have to do is remove the engine cover from the uh, two point four liter Ecotec, and that is accomplished by removing the clamp off of the airbox intake hose, as well as removing the spring clamp off the PCV PCV hose, and then if you look. Up underneath the air box here there's the actual throttle body and there is a screw underneath the air box for the clamp for the throttle body. All of these need to be loosened before we start to manipulate the the engine cover off of the engine. My son Taylor is going to be removing these hose clamps using a 5 16 socket on a driver extension. Now a little trick for getting at the uh, throttle body hose clamp is this little hole here in the engine cover. You can actually make out the screw right there. You can actually see it and that way you don't have to put your head in the engine compartment and look over and see the, uh, the bolt. And you just need to loosen that just enough so that we're going to be able to slide off the, uh, the engine cover off the throttle body. Now to remove the, uh, the PCV hose, this is a spring clamp, so we really just need a pair of uh, vice grips here. And you're just going to squeeze it enough to remove the tension on the spring clamp and work it back off the hose there. And just pull that hose right off the, uh, that's pretty much all there is to it. And then we're going to work the engine cover off. Now one of the other things you need to do before you start to remove the engine cover is to remove the oil cap. And one of the things you want to do to make sure you don't get any debris inside the, uh, the engine is to plug that engine cap hole with a little bit of paper towel so you can get that back out before you pull the engine cover off. Alright, so if you've successfully loosened the uh, the engine cover from the throttle body and from your air cleaner and from the PCV hose and taking your oil cap off you should be good to go to lift the cover straight off and this just sits on some standoffs on the back of the engine and you just pull that straight off just like that and now your engine cover is free you're able to move that away from the engine and uh, you can actually see the throttle body down here and you can see the area that we're going to have to be working on, and there's the, uh, the solenoids that we're going to have to remove. All right, so we're going to do one of these at a time so that way we don't confuse them. They're actually, uh, the solenoids are both different. They're keyed different on the top connectors, and they, they are color-coded as well if you, once you pull the connectors off. And these electrical connections just simply pull off by squeezing and removing. Nothing to it. So to get these solenoids out, you'll see down in here they're actually held in with one little bolt and I'll show that to you on the actual solenoids themselves and uh, just a reminder we're also going to blow this chamber this this uh, valley of the uh, valve cover out a little bit before we remove these so we don't get any uh, garbage down inside the engine um, and we do that with compressed air or if you have an air compressor around the house with a uh, compressed air tip you also want to cover the uh, throttle body put a little uh, paper towels inside there as well just like you did with the oil filler and go ahead and cover that up just to make sure you don't get any garbage down there when you're when you're blowing out the uh, the valley up here on the valve cover all right as you can see on the new solenoids they're actually color coded the 1265 1, is gray, 
and 126-55421 is black. And you can also see there it's marked exhaust. EXH. Anyone one is marked intake. INT. And you can also see that they're keyed differently inside as well on the connections. So the connectors won't go on anything but the right one. But now as we pull these out, we just want to make sure we get them in, put back into the uh, valve cover in the, right, in the right spot. Now to remove the solenoids, we're going to be using a 10 millimeter socket on an extension. And as you can see, I'm on the, uh, the bolt there. And we're just going to break that loose. These aren't very tight. Once you start, once it's broken loose, you can actually just remove that ratchet. Now, these are, they are in there pretty snug, so you may need to use a pair of channel locks and kind of give yourself a little leverage on the uh, valve cover to pull those up and out. And they should come right, pop right out and get loose. And they do have some oil in them. All right, so while we have the uh, intake solenoid valve out and out of the way, we're going to go ahead and loosen up the exhaust valve solenoid. So we may need some clearance to, to actually extract that one with the channel locks. So we're going to go ahead and remove the connector. Be gentle with these cables. The, um, they're kind of brittle from the heat. This one's giving me a little bit of trouble coming off. I had to push down on this one back onto the connector a little bit in order to get it to free the little uh, the little grab there. <clears throat> that one's not going to come up without the channel locks. Yeah, you're gonna need to... Again, make sure you don't put the channel locks There we go. Loosened it right out. it right there. Watch you don't get any garbage down in there. And a little piece of the uh, wire loom that's dry rotted sitting there. All right as you can see we have both the intake and the exhaust out and uh, just noted on the valve cover the uh, intake and exhaust is actually marked. It's actually stamped in the in the valve cover there so okay. should be good to go on that. See there we got a little bit of oil and stuff down there we're gonna clean that up a little bit and then before we insert the new solenoid valves we're going to actually apply a little bit of oil around the o-rings on those valves to help slide those back in the hole now on the uh, new solenoids you see there's a little brown o-ring around here you want to put a get a little bit of new motor oil put a film of oil around all the way around on that brown o-ring before you slide it back down in the hole all right, now these screws that are on these solenoids, they're not captive. There's a little rubber grommet in there, so they'll, they'll hold on pretty good as you put it back down in. And so you just want to make that solenoid back up with the hole, mate the screw up with its hole, and it should just slide back down in there, and you got to give it a good push. So you hear that snap? And we're just going to hand tighten that. My understanding is this, the specifications for this are seven foot-pounds, and uh, if you go above that, you're going to strip it out. So we're just going to get that bolt hand started, and get it down in there, and just snug it up a little bit. All right. So that's the exhaust, black tip. And you see, again, it's got exhaust marked on the on the valve cover. Again, we're now doing the intake and we're going to lube up that brown o-ring around the solenoid. You know, just kind of get it slide it in, get it lined up with the bolt hole and give her a good snap in. Good to go. And then we're going to hand tighten The bolt on this one as well. And I do have a torque wrench 
Uh, I'm not sure that it'll go down to seven foot pounds, but I'll double check. All right, my torque wrench only goes down to 10 foot pounds, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna snug this up a little bit. That is an aluminum base down there, so don't want to strip it out. And that should be good. Better to be under torque than over torque and strip it out. And we're going to go ahead and, again, these connectors inside are keyed. Get this cleaned up as much as possible here. Connectors are keyed. So these will only go in one way. Let's put it down until it snaps. Same thing over here. And there you have it. That's the, uh, we've now replaced our camshaft actuator solenoids on the Ecotec 2.4 liter GM engine. Should be good to go. Other than a start test, we're going to, before we put the air cleaner and everything back on, which is exact uh, reverse of the removal, we're going to clean up around this area and, uh, and uh, just kind of do a general overview and take a look at what we've got here and, and clean things up. All right, as you can see from the engine cover, these two little rubber grommets sit on these back posts back here. So we're going to put those on first. That should guide us on putting everything else back on the front. I put a little, little bit of, just kind of lube that up a little bit so it go on the throttle body real easy and should be good to go on that. And uh, took our oil cap back off in preparation to put this back on. This should be good to go. We're gonna mate these up with the posts in the back. You'll hear them, they kind of pop right on. And that'll allow us to get this tube on here. Well, actually we're gonna have to put the throttle body on first. Uh, yeah, so was saying. it a tube maybe? Yeah, I think it was a tube. Alright, yeah, it's the tube. Is this right here? Hmm? Right here? Well, not yet. Right. A little tricky getting this throttle body put back on. much better. So uh, put it on the throttle body first. Put it on the throttle body first. Get your tubes hooked up up here and then uh, mount it on those back posts. A little bit easier. You make sure you got a positive seal on the throttle body. Put your PCV valve back on. We're going to move that spring over. I need that, yeah. This, what you can see right in this uh, Spring clamp. We're just gonna move that right back over. So it's on there. And we're gonna tighten up our hose clamps. Everything's all nice and tight. Again, we can look through our little pole here.
can see where I am on the on the head there. 